Hey family, random rant here. Uh, I've been wanting to, well, I've, I've, I've been talking about this for a long time, but like to person to person, but never here on the channel until now. <clears throat> so I want to start out with um, this thing that's called the Diagnostic Service Manual. And um, <clears throat> it started out as a little tiny book like this back when the petrochemical industry first got started a couple hundred years ago and first started to create the deleterious effects on the planet and all these other illnesses that we never had before. Um, when they uh, began with this, with this toxic industry, which makes all of us sick, everything, the water, the soil, the air, the people, the plant, everything, all living things, makes us sick. So they come up with this diagnostic, the very same petrochemical industry that creates the fucking disease gives us the answers for it in a diagnostic service manual, which I said when the first published, when it was first published a couple, 150, 180 years ago, it was a tiny little volume like this one book. And now, well, I don't know about now, but the last time I checked was 15 years ago and they were books this thick, this thick, this this huge they call them pdr physician's desk reference it's like the size of a of a large dictionary and there's like volumes of them at least four volumes right and that's just for the the diagnostic or the physician's desk desk reference to to diagnose your physical disease they have another diagnostic service manual for the psychiatric and emotional and psychological disorders that the petrochemical industry and society, the sick fucking society creates writ large. Did I just say the F word? I, I've said the F word a lot today. I think I'm gonna, yeah, well, deal with it. <laughs> Sorry, but it's just the way it is. Um, <laughs> but I'll try, you're right. I just, I, I, you're right. I know what you're thinking and you're like, God, I never heard her cuss like that. <laughs> But yeah, I, I get a little upset about this. I get a little passionate about this, okay? So um, don't shoot the messenger. But, um, okay, so the, <laughs> let, me, let me just summarize. The same petrochemical industry which destroys the environment and creates deleterious situations for all life on the planet has the answers for or the the diagnosis or the name to give the diseases that their products create um and that book <laughs> has been growing in direct correlation with the expansion of said industry so i wonder if there's a pattern we can establish i wonder if we could plot that instances of the various different disease the numbers and the incidence and the prevalence and and the mortality rates and all that like that how how you see that going you know up and plot it against the existence of the petrochemical industry and i'm sure you would see a direct correlation kind of like the correlation that you would see with the autism and the numbers of vaccinations that the crime and death what is it called cdc the Center for Disease Creation and the Fraud and Death Administration, the FDA is the other one, you know, in accordance with those clowns' schedules of vaccinations for your children. So now I'm going to, as, as that with a background, with a reference, I'm going to actually defend the parasites, the par not, not the government ones, I can never defend them, but um, the central banks and the government parasites I can never defend, but like I'm talking about fleas and ticks and mosquitoes and these kinds of things, right? Just like the things that bite you and suck your blood. <laughs> so I saw this like 30 years ago, there was Lyme's disease, they call it, and they blamed it on a tick and it's such bullshit because that tick has always been there in nature. It's, it's what is, it has always been in his saliva, has always been used to suck out your blood if you get a tick on you, right? It's not a question of the germ's existence, but rather it's an, the question is, is what is the terrain? How, what is the health of the terrain? Like, what is the health of your immune system to be able to 
ward off that potential malady from that transmission of whatever that mosquito or tick is giving you. So I heard the tick being blamed for Lyme's disease many years ago. And then of course the mosquito being blamed for dengue or yellow fever. So I just want to illustrate this just so we're clear, just so we're perfectly fucking clear about so that we could stop blaming the innocent ticks and mosquitoes. The difference between a mosquito that bites you and you just get a little itch, an annoying little ow, and then a, a little scratchy bit later, and a mosquito that bites you and gives you yellow fever or dengue, is the question that is, is the mosquito, what water is the mosquito born in? You know, mosquitoes lay their eggs in water. They prefer stagnant water, not moving, because the eggs are fragile. They like to stick them to the bottom of a leaf in a, in a pool of water that's stagnant. Is the water clean? Yes, the water's clean. Okay, then you're just going to get a little itchy, annoying mosquito bite. Is the water dirty? Is it gray water? Is it black water? Is it polluted? Then you're going to get yellow fever and dengue. That's the difference. And stop blaming the fucking mosquito. It's the human's fault for polluting the water. Likewise, the ticks. Stop blaming the ticks for diseases which are caused as a direct result of our continued unreasonable exposure to toxic chemicals and frequencies in the environment. Don't forget frequencies. Cell phone towers, obviously, everybody knows about those. Cell phone devices, everybody knows about those, I think. <laughs> but also even electricity wires and other shit that people are personally emanating, the collective are emanating, that's a frequency. So that, the concrete boxes that we live in, that that's a horrible frequency. So considering that we're electromagnetic beings, we want to first and foremost make sure the frequency of the place is good. And then we can go on from there to, uh, you know, talk about how to avoid dengue or yellow fever or whatever disease you're trying to, Lyme's disease. I gotta stop blaming the nature. Let's start taking a look at what's wrong with nature first. And that in that way we can come up with ideas and solutions that more directly address our objectives and our purposes and our solutions that are valid as opposed to blaming it on somebody else. It's just, and then you can see this kind of total fucking psychosis culminating in, you know, a bunch of people fat ass, like, I'm sorry, I'm being kind of like rude and crude today. Forgive me. <laughs> Swayze is what you get. But let me let me see if I could put this in a diplomatically <laughs> in a politically correct way. Uh, very unhealthy people shoving all kinds of toxic shit down their throat. Coca-Cola, McDonald's, fast food, chemical processed food, shit, tons of sugar on their cell phones all day long, not getting their exercise, whatever. Just super unhealthy people. And they got a face diaper on and they're smothering themselves with hand gel to run away from a fucking virus that doesn't even exist, by the way. Um, but even if it did, the virus is only, or the, the, the thing that's coming to get you is only able to exist in an environment that has the frequency to support that sort of parasitic or otherwise deleterious um, life form, whether you want to call that a germ or a bacteria or a virus or whatever you want to call that, whatever threat, right? And then these face diapers, which are literally making them even more sick, then get just chucked onto the ground. It's just another thing to go into the landfill along with those big plastic jugs of the, of the hand sanitizers. Yeah, no problem. Just keep on polluting, keep on destroying the fucking nature that we depend upon to live. 
And while we do that, simultaneously destroy the internal environment with toxic shit on a daily basis. But then put a face diaper on and your hand gel and stuff so that, you know, you can protect yourself from that which, you know, protect ourselves, I should say, from that which we have allowed to be created. Yeah, I think that's all. That's it. That's in defense of parasites. <laughs> In defense of ticks and mosquitoes. <laughs> hey, how family. Hope you enjoyed that. Apologies for all the cuss words, but sometimes it's just that way. So <laughs> until then, see you in the dream world. Ciao for now.